Hidden Object Guru here with Haunt New Game Madness Beverage, which, uh, yay. This is weird. Having real trouble controlling the- oh, I see. Nothing's unlocked yet. That's why I can't control anything. Let's, uh, start on easy, see how we go. Old school. Start with normal, check out old school. So, apparently this is a super violent... Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Madness Beverage, which, by Blue Sunset Game, Austin, uh, and Console Labs, maybe published by. But anyway, it's a gorgeous looking game, uh, which, based on that image right there, seems like a Doom like. And I think the music is definitely cueing us in that they have that uh, Doom style thing in mind. Yeah, we're going to set it to easy for now. Normal or old school. If I can turn off the filter, then, you know, might as well find out what the filter looks like. Sorry, I'm thinking about uh, Doom 2. Doom 2. Got Halo 2, the remake where you can switch graphical modes anytime you want. Okay. Put it on speaker, babe. Should have checked for subtitles. Uh oh. By ending your suffering. Now, death is not the end, but just the beginning of demonic afterlife. Now, every demon is bound to me. Uh oh. What the fuck? Demons? The hell? That's definitely not good for business. That asshole has to go down. I bet there'll be a bounty on him soon. We need to get there before any other mercenaries. Babe, give me the coordinates to that signal. Data transfer scan. Initiated. Accessing message property. Neo Valkyrie prefix. Identified. Neo Valkyrie, you say? He's in the old castle. That castle? Creeps me out. What are we talking anyway, about? Set the course for Neo Valkyria Castle. Oh, I'm turning this off. Oh, this is a this is a nightmare filter. Doom never looked this bad. I mean, unless I did that thing where you could uh So there's this thing in the original Doom where you could change the size of the screen. Uh there's no subtitles? Game art, extra settings, nope. This is weirdly difficult to do beverages. Right, like the title of the game, dummy. There we go. I do like black and white games. Oh, I'll press X. I don't understand how I'm supposed to select Neo Valkyria. There we go. Uh, K1 to investigate demons are never good for business. Good is it weird that, like, the premise of the game is I'm on a spaceship fighting demons, but then, like, we just have a castle map? I mean, again, I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm obviously going to turn the color back on. Black and white is just for me, everybody. I get that. There we go. I mean, okay. I'm not saying this is what happened, but does anyone get the sense that maybe, like, a developer bought a pack of, uh... Why am I damaged? Did something hit me? That second time I know how I got damaged, I fell. But the first time, what happened? Anyway, as I was saying, does it feel to anyone else like they just bought a pack of, uh, locations? and wrote the game around the locations they had. Because, you know, I've seen that done and create a great game, 
so I'm not critical to people who do that. My gun basically doesn't have an audio component. Let's turn the music down, see if I can hear this gun at all. It's a little better. So that's a... Uh... Ah! Demon with a rocket launcher. Cool. Yay, gah! Demon uh, killed me. Ah, yes! The uh, getting two trophy notifications because I'm playing an Xbox game. That's always fun. I feel like I should make the time to just really dig into uh, my beloved State of Decay 2. After I finish Final All Fantasy right. 7. Right, where's Crouch? Oh, it's not a toggle on Crouch. You have to hold down Crouch. Yeah, that's not easy to do on a controller. Because how do you expect me to turn if I'm using my thumb to hold down the B button? Think it through, developer. All I'm saying, think it through. Brain monsters! I call them that because they have an exposed brain. Oh, hi. I do enjoy the way ex they explode when I shoot them, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I have maximum ammo. They should fix that. Thank you. Oh! See, that's a nice bit of coding. The gun stays. Gun. Oh my god. Bullets stay until uh, I'm done with them. Plenty of bullets left is my point. This is 100% my jam. A very basic shooter where you take a laser rifle and shoot monsters in Old Timey Castle. Like, I don't know how much more clearly this could be directed at me specifically, but way to go. You asked me, uh, Hoguru, what would be the game you could make, you would make if you had the slightest idea how to use Game Maker? And the answer would be, I don't know, a game where you just wander around random locations shooting zombies with way too much plot attached to it. I mean, that is the premise of my game uh, outline. Hoguru presents the house with too many zombies in it. Of course, that game uh, has a slight issue. In that uh, it's designed to be a top-down game. You know, rather than a, a first-person shooter. Although I'm sure it would work as a first-person shooter. It might even be better. I just don't know how to make those. And I know someone who would make top-down games, so talk to them about making a house full of zombies. But I'm not here to talk about my work. I'm here to talk about how much I'm enjoying the game. And this is the actual title of this game. Madness Beverage. And you might say, why is it called Madness Beverage? And the answer is... I'm ten minutes into the game, and I have no idea. should probably speed up my uh, turning speed horizontal-wise. Let's see if that's doable. Do I have grenades? I have grenades. I just noticed the four down there, and suddenly realized I had probably had grenades. I wonder what engine this was made with. I should look that up. By the way, they are not kidding around when they say this is easy difficulty. All of these enemies are doing one point of damage to me, or two or three points of damage to me when they hit. Like, yeah. When I when I say I want a game to be easy, I want that game to be easy, and I really respect a developer who's not going to waste my time by setting a game to easy, and then, like, having ridiculous bullet sponge monsters that can kill you in two hits. And I'm like, are you not familiar with the word easy? Okay, since it wasn't clear, I am talking about the game Outbreak Endless Nightmares when I say that. I'm referring to a specific real game 
that doesn't understand the meaning of the word easy. I got a pretty nasty review by me, uh, as a consequence. I'm kidding, it wasn't a nasty review. It was just, you know, very uh, realistic about the game's flaws. I'm going to assume my character has a nice... Uh, oh, I don't have a shield. I just have health. Although maybe that's a shield. Although the blood being all over the screen suggests it's not a shield. Although actually maybe that is a shield and that's enemy blood. Apparently something opens somewhere and I don't see where. I'm going to quickly see if I can... Uh, gamepad sensitivity is set to zero. Which normally I would like. In this one case. There we go. Do I feel bad about shooting those zombies? No. Or demons. Whatever you want to call them. I have no idea. Alright, so we're just going to do the maze thing. We're just going to hug the right wall until we get out of here. So I opened a door somewhere. So hug the right wall. Hug the right wall. Hug the right wall. Is it the correct wall? No, it's the right wall. Dumbest joke I've ever made. Also, it doesn't help that it's so dark that I can't see anything. It's actually making me a little unsure that I'm successfully hugging the right wall. And this time I meant correct. You got some gibberish bits going on here, Hoguru. So I just hugged the right wall. Wait. I feel like we've already been here. This is definitely the room we came through to get into that place. Hmm. Yeah, so I would say this area is way too dark. Do I have a flashlight or some such? What was that? The slowest, uh, okay. I have the slowest melee attack in the world. Okay. Is this it? No. The ammo on the ground suggests I've already been here and killed some people. All better now. Yep. This is where I, no. What is that? It's a barrel floating in the air on its side. That seems like it's probably a glitch. Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, new area. Alright, I take back everything I said. Hugging the right wall is the best way to do this. Uh, a better way, sorry, a good way to do this. A better way would be to, you know, have a visual signifier letting you know Uh, which way you're supposed to be going. That would be even better. At least I know what buttons look like in the game now. Alright. There's the button in question. Let's just open that and get through the castle. But yes, for the record, this is exactly what I want out of a game. To wander around a castle with a magic assault rifle. You know, magic uh, laser assault rifle. Plasma assault rifle, whatever. And just waste monsters. It's actually this wonderful oh, game. Um, hunted, something like that. Anyway, it's uh, I'll have to look it up. It's about you being trapped on an island full of dinosaurs. And, you know, you crash land on an island, there's some dinosaurs. What are you going to do? Fight them and escape. That's what you do. Very linear. It's just kind of cute. Uh, not any big deal. But, and here's the key. And if this had been the whole version of the game, it would be one of my favorite games. But you had to work really hard to get this, so it loses something in my estimation. I have weird priorities. Anyway, uh, the point is, if you beat the game in under two hours, you get uh, warded with something you can start a subsequent game is, and that is... Uh, when you start the game, there'll be, like, a crashed alien spaceship and a laser assault rifle with infinite ammo. 
And then you can replay the game, only now you're not scrounging for ammo and searching for various items, blah, 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 blah. You just have a laser assault rifle, and you just roast everything. Is it inspired by the laser pistol from uh, Silent Hill? Maybe? I hope so. There we go. Because uh, that certainly made Silent Hill a lot better. Being able to just trash things with a laser pistol. And yet, that didn't continue being a thing. Like, a major part of Silent Hill lore, or design, that there would be a way to complete a game that would unlock a laser pistol that lets you immediately one-shot every enemy in the game. Oh, hello, what's this? I'm so confused. Oh, so I could change my loadout if I'd find any found any other guns. But I haven't found any. That uh, accent may have qualified as a hate crime. And if you were offended by it, I sincerely apologize. And I will make an effort to not do it in the future. I'm trying to wean myself off of terrible accents, but uh, it's not going well. I mean, as far as things right. to be addicted to go, it's one of the less harmful, but still. What? A plasma launcher? Oh, and guys sneak up behind me, too? Damn. So, uh, I'm sure this is part of it being uneasy. But I love that in addition to, you know, only doing ba doing basically no damage, enemies also drop a lot of stuff. Like dropping tons of ammo, dropping health packs on the reg. It's a nice touch. That guy didn't even hurt me. And I still got the uh, screen full of blood for a second. So yes, uh, I'm imagining my character is so tough that that blood there is actually, you know, the enemy's hands breaking as they punch me. You might say, well, what about when you get shot with a laser? Well, that doesn't put the blood on the screen, does it? No, it doesn't. Let me guess, I was supposed to find a button, or a key, or some such. Switch? Maybe I just have to kill enough guys in this challenge room and it'll open? Sounded like an opening door to me. At least sound design's helping. Although I will say that uh, for uh, deaf and hard of hearing gamers, having a sound cue to let you know a door open is insufficient. So what you want to do there is you want to have a, a big glowing thing on the door, right? like a glowing face. And then when you try to interact with it, have it say, Ah, it seems to be drawing strength from all the demons in the area. And that'll tell you that if you kill all the demons in the area, the glowing face lock will explode and let you through. That is my little tip to you to how to communicate to players what they need to do. without, like, just saying your objective is X, Y, or Z. See here, it says door locked. And there's no association between the fact the door is locked and the fact that I've got all these people to kill. Now, I made that association, I figured it out for myself, but should I have had to, is my point. Like, you should be putting this stuff in narratively. There you are. In radio tower? God, this game is weird. You know, it's weird in exactly the way I want it to be weird, so... The only worrying thing will be is if there aren't that many kinds of enemies. Okay. Boom. So I've just been told I don't have to kill all the enemies. So that's interesting. It'll tell you to find the button, but it won't tell you... That you have to uh, kill all the enemies in it. 
Oh, and for button finding, just a good thing for that is to put a wire coming off of the lock, right, and have the wire leading to where the button is. So I have to kill everybody to unlock the door. And this is a bit much, so I don't know if I could expect anyone to actually do this, but a fun thing to do is have it so, like, uh, you can tell roughly how many enemies you have left to kill when you put, like, a face or a magic lock in the door and say it's drawing energy from the demons in the area. What you can do is, as you kill guys, it can start to break and shatter, and so people have some idea of how many kills are left until the door opens. Just, just a way to streamline the game. I know it makes it more complicated to design, but at the same time... People will appreciate you putting in that extra work to on. make sure it's always clear what you're supposed to do in the game. That door's still locked. Nice. Something just opened. See? Nice! I found secret art! We'll have to check that out later. Remember there were like 20 or 25 pieces of art on that menu? The point is there were a lot of question marks. Hey guys. I'd very much like to make it to the radio tower. So if you could, to use the vernacular, get out the way, I'd appreciate it. Did it take ten shots to flip that switch? That felt weird. Okay. Well, that's not a good sound. I got some gargs. I got some gargs, everybody. That's my cute pet name for gargoyles. I've never used it before, and I might never use it again. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, what have we here? See, and this is the kind of uh, discordant design that I really like. We've been adventuring through a castle this entire time, and then suddenly at the end of the castle, there is a futuristic radio tower to remind you that, no, this whole time this has been a space castle. It's a real Heaven Sent type of situation. And if you haven't seen Heaven Sent, watch that episode of Doctor Who. The problem is, uh, it will only really make sense if you know a lot about Doctor Who. So before you watch Heaven Sent, arguably the best episode of Doctor Who ever. Sorry, Blink. Well, okay, Blink is probably better. But only just. Uh, you're going to have to watch 30 years of Doctor Who. So you can understand the context of uh, what's going on in Heaven Sent. Okay, the hand with the eye on it is very upsetting. Anyway, uh, so Heaven Sent. Just a gorgeous episode of television that anyone should uh, watch, but only if you've seen the preceding 30 years of Doctor Who. Or just all of the new show. All of the new show is fine. Uh, one thing to think about with it is, this whole time I could have been looking down the sights, although not really. It's just arranging the gun front wise. And it's not any more accurate, so there's really no reason to do it. So just look. Okay? Essentially the same. Maybe. A, okay, wait. I, I'm i not going to move the controller. So you got a little bit of climb, but honestly not that much here. The exact same amount of climb, so no. 
there's no difference if you use the sights or not. Radio tower! All right, we defeated the radio tower. So now I can find a lead on where the devil is next. Manos, open the fucking gate now and stop playing around. You are coming. That's with why the me. flying hands with the eyes on it, because he's named Manos, which means hand. <laughs> what? You're not even gonna thank me, whoever you are. Uh oh. Cut the crap, Manos. With demons at your disposal, you'll take control of the galaxy in no time. I'm stopping you here and now. We both know you're one sick. Maybe just aim the gun at him instead of doing all this expressive stuff. Psychopath, eh? Don't you mean the new god who single-handedly changed the rules of the universe? Don't tell me this doesn't impress you. I don't care. It's never a good sign to have this much power, and it's bad for business. Bad for business. Prepare to die. Bring it on, tough guy. It would be hilarious if this was the entire game. I'm sure it's not, but that would be very funny. So did he just take a beverage? Okay, so he's taking beverages. So this is how we're learning about the beverage mechanic in the game. Which, despite the fact that the game is called Madness Beverage, it hasn't turned up. So I literally can't hurt him. So, uh, green lets you teleport, red makes you, I don't know, do a lot of damage or become invulnerable or something. Am I supposed to just let him kill me? Oh wait, maybe he is losing health. Hold on. He is. I thought there was going to be a black bar that got revealed. But in fact, what's happening is the ba whole bar is shrinking. So I didn't contextually notice how much health he had left. Got him. To halfway health. So my character decided to take a break. I didn't even break a sweat. The fuck just happened? Damn, he's so fast and powerful. Damn straight you didn't know. Thanks to the my beverages. acquired powers, I was able to close the gate and become the most powerful being in the universe. How did you get those powers? That's cheating. I will. Ow. I was doing fine in the fight. Madness beverage. Oh, But I mean, that's how a game should be structured. You should lose in the first level and then, you know, fight your way back to winning. I'm looking at you, Batman and Robin. A game whose structure makes no sense whatsoever. Sorry, a game? A movie whose structure makes no sense whatsoever. Seriously, you chase us down, uh, Dr. Freeze. If anyone knows how this Mara Professor Freeze? So strong, Mr. Mr. Freeze. Wow. Next time I, will I mean, he is a doctor. And a professor. Mr. Her. Freeze. And then, and this is true, he, uh... Batman comes through a final showdown with Mr. Freeze, and then, and this is true, this really happens in the game, it's gonna sound crazy, he wins the fight in one second off-camera. Hey, I found more secret art. Nice. We'll check that out in a bit. I just want to see what the new monsters are. Kanatan. Oh. Tell me more. And that's where I go to find out about the madness beverages that will get put me on an uh, evil... F evil? equal footing with the evil Ugh. villain. No. I thought that was... Anyway, not important. Hey, weird alien! Don't worry, I'm not gonna start shooting. Just go Oh, I can't actually shoot right now. I didn't try shooting until I wasn't aimed at anyone, though, so see? I'm not such a monster after all. 
is it lots of models of the lots of the same model of alien over and over again? It is, but they all look fun. So I'm not going to criticize that. See, it's these two's got two guys again. Hey, weird frog man. No, iguana man. Hey, Zeos. What's your deal? We really need subtitles. Yeah, listen, Zeos. I got a favor to ask. Heard about that Manus demon crap? Well, I went there to grab him for a potential bounty, but instead I got my ass kicked. And I need to know I thought you were trying to save the world. You said something about madness, pal. The info spreads around here very fast, mate. We already know that that bully there got his powers from madness drops that he turned into powerful drinks. He is very dangerous with those. Sounds like some Infinity's power drink crap. Okay, man, where can I find some? It's your lucky day, Caleb. I will prepare a map of all drops locations. There is plenty of that stuff in our galaxy. Just remember to pick only okay, that's one hilarious. at a time. Getting more drops from the place might burn you to ash. That's how powerful they are. Jesus. Okay, understood. Still, I need to know how to use them. My boys will prepare a beverage out Put of them the in beer? Power. No yeah. worries. But there you go. as a fair trade, I will keep some of the beverage for myself. No problem. Sounds fair. You never let me down, boys. Good thing is we Except have one now you're encouraging him to turn into a villain. We will prepare you a beverage to use. Also, as from now on, you will be my supplier. Yeah, right. Don't push it. I have a special weapon just for you. Good luck on the Okay. Push. Thanks, Leo. I owe you one. Purple drink. Uh, going to turn production and damage. Additionally, you power the drink you use to power shockwave. Push away for non-damage to use to... Okay, attract monsters by loud actions. Gotcha. Shotgun! Alright, so how do I change my weapon? It's a uh, left bumper. Alright, how do I, uh... Drink? I'm running very quickly, like 10 meters a second very uh, quickly, putting me as a world-class sprinter. Like, seriously, world-class. That's enough to, you know, I'll not get you to the Olympics, but maybe. Close enough. Alright, let's go somewhere. I definitely missed a, uh, heavy weapons, drinks, okay. All right, perfect. It sounds like a good layout. Probably missed some secret art back there. Oh, we're in space. I didn't realize we were already back in space. A little embarrassing. What's that? It's very embarrassing? Okay, thank you for telling me. I have to pick a destination. Oh, I gotta say where I want to go! Passage to the Underworld. Okay, man. Okay, so that's a cave. Resident Evil Lab, Winter Caves, Lava Caves. So lots of caves. What, dragons? Oh my god, there's dragons. Alright, well obviously we're going to the zombie lab, but you know. It was that or the lava caves and meat dragons. So let's see if there's different kinds of enemies, or if we're stuck with just the same kind of enemy over and over again. I heard this gem of small trail rounds the magazine edition bounce off falls in for the head and see what you got. Nice. Oh well that's my shotgun. How do I switch back? There doesn't seem to be any way to switch back. Oh there we go. I had to be standing directly over it. So right, I'm trying the pistol and the uh rifle. What is that, and why can't I pick it up? Yeah, I'll figure it out later. They're rockets for a rocket launcher, but I don't have the rocket launcher yet. No, nope, just more gargoyles. No, it's the same enemies every time. That's a little disappointing. Oh, what are you going to do? Why can't I reload? Oh, there we go. 
Anyway, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Oh, see, we got at least one new enemy. That's nice. Uh, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. I'd like to thank you for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related to whatnot, go in the comment section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and or upcoming games. Oh, let's try out the new gun, I just realized. It fires incredibly slowly. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. How do I take the beverage? Au revoir.